Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. And we're here today to assess a wide range of commonly available light bulbs for the ultraviolet radiation emissions. And to do that, we're going to use these beads. These beads are white when they are not exposed to ultraviolet light. And you expose them to ultraviolet light and they change color. And that color commonly appears as purple and pink in some of the beads. So this is a standard children's toy. It costs several dollars, it's very cheap, and it's very useful for assessing ultraviolet radiation emissions. So we're gonna start off with our first light bulb, and I know this light emits UV, and I wanna demonstrate the color change effect with the beads. So this is a dimmable compact fluorescent lamp, and it has what appears to be a very high ultraviolet light output. And that is evidenced by the beads changing color around it. So this light bulb may actually cause some problems in people who can't tolerate UV of a nighttime. So the thing that I've noticed with testing these light bulbs is it's quite common for the compact fluorescent lamps to have ultraviolet emissions from them and it appears to be a feature of those lamps and it is actually on most of the light bulbs that I've tested regarding compact fluorescence it is an issue so most of the compact fluorescents change these beads so we're now testing a halogen lamp bulb for UV emissions and many people use these halogen lamp bulbs today it's a standard 120 volt lamp bulb that screws into a normal lamp holder in the USA. And they have very little UV emissions from them. That's because they have a glass envelope around them. So there is a very slight color change occurring in the beads, but it's, it's nothing like the compact fluorescent lamp. So it has a little bit of UV output. So we're gonna test a common household LED bulb from a leading manufacturer. So let's see what that does to these. So I'm gonna hold it this way because the LEDs tend to be somewhat directional with the light. So we want to expose the beads as much as possible to see if we can get them to change. And this change happens very rapidly with these beads. So I don't really see any change with this particular LED light bulb. So let's test another compact fluorescent lamp. So this is probably one of the lowest powered compact fluorescent lamps that we have. And I can tell you from the test that I did earlier that it does emit UV because the light bulb does actually change the beads, I mean, you see that change now occurring. So even these low powered compact fluorescent lamps emit UV. And you can see that the beads have indeed changed color. So let's do another halogen. Now the difference between the previous halogen that we did and this one is that this one is a full spectrum halogen. So it's actually got a blue glass shield over it and the idea is to put some blue wavelengths into the light to mimic daylight. So these are very, very good light bulbs for daytime use, but you wouldn't want them in your nighttime light bulbs because too much blue light may give you insomnia. So that's a common problem around certain light bulbs today is that they induce insomnia into people. And that's generally caused by the natural wavelengths of light coming out of the light bulbs and it's commonly reported around LED and compact fluorescent lamps. So I don't really see much of a change. There may be some slight UV coming out of it but there's not much. So let's test another LED lamp. So I'm going to hold this one facing down. This particular LED lamp if I spend any extended time working with this particular LED lamp, I get insomnia. So I don't particularly like this particular light bulb. So there's something about this particular light bulb that does induce insomnia into me. It has a very intense light output to it. You know, you certainly don't want to stir at this light bulb. 
But based on the test that I did earlier, this white bulb does not give out any detectable UV. And I, I, I'm not seeing any color change occur in these beads. So let's move on to our next light bulb. So I'm gonna do another compact fluorescent lamp. And this UV effect is very consistent across the UV lamps. It doesn't seem to matter which color of lamp you have or which brand of lamp you have. They all appear to have this UV emission associated with them. And uh, there's a lot of people who have had skin problems. That's one of the more common problems that's reported around these artificial UV emissions. You'll get like really weird rashes and things around man-made UV. And this one is indeed changing the beads. So we have some purple and pink beads in there. So we definitely have UV coming out of this. So I'm gonna do a conventional light bulb. This is a soft white light bulb. It's pretty typical of what most people have in their homes. And let's see how the beads perform around a traditional filament soft white light bulb. So this is probably the most common light bulb that people have in their homes. And I can tell you that the previous test that I did with this it didn't really appear to have any effect on the beads. So it's pretty consistent with what people report that they get good health around these filament light bulbs. So there's no detectable change occurring around this light bulb. So the final light bulb I want to show you is a compact fluorescent lamp, but this one's different because it actually has a shield over it. So I'm not too sure what the outer coating is made out of. It's either glass or some kind of acrylic plastic, but it seems to make a difference with these compact fluorescent lamps and UV radiation emissions. And if you're gonna use these compact fluorescent lamps, I don't actually recommend them because uh, I've lived in a house that was illuminated by these compact fluorescent lamps and I was quite sick in that house. And the sickness that I got came on over a long period of time. It was kind of developed over years. But yeah, there's a lot of people who report problems around these compact fluorescent lamps, but if you're gonna use them, this particular type appears to be the best type because the outer shield is actually acting as a filter and it, re it certainly significantly reduces the UV light output, but there is some UV light output still coming out from it and there is a slight color change occurring on the beards. So there we have it. So when it comes to UV light, the bulb to avoid if you don't like UV light exposure of a nighttime or of a daytime is the compact fluorescent lamp. And the UV light was very hard to detect from LED lights and conventional lights and also full spectrum lamp bulbs and halogen lamp bulbs. So certainly based on this experiment, if you're worried about UV light output on your light bulbs, you should avoid the compact fluorescent lamps. Hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.